I talk, you listen. Welcome to my one-man panel of madness. Hey everyone, it's Dr. Jiu Hu, and of course we have a lot more cool, exciting Doctor Who Series 13 information. Uh, we know we have three new images that have just been released by SFX Magazine. But the coolest thing, and and I will see, I'm not sure if this is a spoiler or if this is really just a rumor, because I have yet to see, I guess you could say, physical evidence of this person supposedly being around a, a filming location in Cardiff this past week. Um, so t I don't know. If you don't want to listen, then I'm warning you right now, this could be a potential spoiler of a character coming back to the centenary episode, uh, Jodie Whittaker's last episode as the Doctor, presumably. Uh, so you may not want to listen, but if you do want to listen, you could take this as a rumor because I have yet to see any photographic evidence, but we know that there's been some filming at this one cathedral um, or church. Actually, it I, doesn't matter. But what there is, is a lot of evidence of somebody being hidden away from the public view. So they took photos, and you could see from the photos, and if you haven't seen them, go on Twitter, Google them. But it's a photo of a black uh, tent, and it looks like a black vehicle, completely tinted, to where um, even when they drove up to the black tent, they were able to cover the back part of the car so whoever it was could get out of the car without being seen. Now, the rumor is, and I have yet, like I've said, I haven't seen it. I could find photo evidence of this later, but the rumor is, and I kind of figured that this would happen anyways because I wanted to see this person one last time. So I'm warning you again if you don't want to hear this, but it's allegedly uh, Sasha Darwin is coming back as the master for the last episode, Jodie Whittaker's last special, the special that will air sometime in autumn of 2022. Now, I, like I said, I haven't seen images for, you know, definitely they have seen Jodie Whittaker and Mandip Gill, but I'm still looking. So I'm excited because I actually do like Sasha Darwin's rendition of the master or version of the master. He's got a very Joker style to him, which I like. You know, Misty had the psychotic, you know, I'm, I play it cool, I'll kill you, but I play it cool. Whereas Sasha Darwin has more of that more upbeat, um, crazy, you know, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to kill you. And this is how I'm going to, and this is how I'm going to do it type of attitude. So I really am looking forward to him. He's quite possibly my, uh, another one of my favorite masters. Of course, if you know me, you know that my favorite is Roger Delgado. That's always, you know, the first, the very first, uh, master. Um, doesn't mean I don't like Anthony Ainley. I think he's great as well as the master. Um, but in the scheme of things, Michelle Gomez, I think, really touched a nerve um, as one of my favorite masters because she was just so prim, proper, cool about everything. The way she would talk just um, would – it was almost like she was serenading you or seducing you in a way that was just really cool for a master. And then when Sasha Darwin came into play, he was just crazy, you know, and I, I really appreciate that. So, again, I have not seen any photographic evidence, but all over Twitter it is being reported that he is – essentially has been seen at the scene of the filming. So he will be in the last um, episode of Jodie Whittaker's tenure as a doctor. Now, this again goes to the fact that they like to hide things, but you cannot hide things from Doctor Who fans who are out there. And I blame this on the fact that the marketing scheme of BBC just doesn't work. When you try to make a mystery, what do you think we're going to do? It's in our inherent nature to try to discover what is going on. We like to be Sherlock Holmes. We want to discover. We, we get the clues. We try to put the clues together. And just because the BBC doesn't deny it doesn't mean, you know, it hasn't been proven. It's just like the Centaurans and the Weeping Angels. We have a lot of behind-the-scenes footage, uh, photos from fans that, you know, it's already, it's common knowledge. I mean, it's not a spoiler anymore. We know it. But they won't put in, in any photos or anything or release any photos. And to say the three photos that did come out from SFX Magazine, um, I wasn't as impressed, to be honest. I mean, the first one is that I saw has the the fam, 
Yaz, Dan, and the doctor, her kind of pointing her son a screwdriver at what seems to be open space with very astonished faces. We don't know what they're looking at. They may not even be in space. This might just be on a planet. So we don't know what they're looking at. Again, teasing, kind of like they're trying to tease us with this. The second photo, um, which could possibly be a spaceship, but the background's kind of blurred, so we can't see. Um, I don't know. It, it, it. People keep saying that this somehow this is ancient Gallifrey, and there's a rumor going around that we're going back to ancient Gallifrey. Another rumor I recently just heard is that the, the setup for this series is that the TARDIS is potentially dying or sick, and she has to go back to Gallifrey, but it goes they go back to ancient Gallifrey. Now, if this is true, I would love to see this. This, was, this would be amazing. Um, and that's one of the things I enjoyed about going back, you know, to the, the whole storyline of the Timeless Child is to see Gallifrey before it was known as Gallifrey. So I like origin stories, if you haven't, you know, been able to tell yet with my segments. Um, so I don't know. I'm still not bought that, that, you know, it goes back to one of the first early photos with the three, uh, the Dr. Dan and Yaz were allegedly standing on the seal of Razalon. Uh, I, I don't see it. Um, I don't see it as well. Uh, of course, you know, with the picture with Vinder, people were saying, well, this looks kind of like old, like maybe it could be old Gallifrey. Again, I don't see it, um, but I could be wrong. Like I said, these are just rumors. So, you know, pinch of salt. Um, and of course, a third photo is of uh, Yaz, the doctor, and Dan. Uh, sorry, back backwards, backwards, going backwards. The third photo that I saw is just the Sonic screwdriver and a gun. Now the gun, okay, they're not showing you who's holding the gun. So, and the design doesn't look like anything we've seen so far in Doctor Who. And it could well be a Centauran weapon, right? It doesn't necessarily have to be anything magical or mystical. Um, or it could be an old Gallifreyan weapon. Because somebody was saying that it has similarities to the weapon that um, the Doctor Ruth held uh, when she was talking to Gat. So, again, we have a lot more questions than answers and of course there was an interesting article by uh, cult box and their headline was doctor who series 13 is landing imminently what does that mean because there's been rumors though so that a specific show in the bbc has been delayed due to post-production um i don't think that's going to be doctor who because i feel that doctor who has to be has to air on specific days because if you have a new year's day episode you have a New Year's Day episode. You have to count back six episodes at least. So the most we can, the latest we can get it would be at some point late November. Because if not, what are you going to have a special and then the weekend? You know what I mean? So you really can't push it. They're kind of in, in a time lock, as it were. No pun intended. Um, but, of course, if they have this embargo with the whole date and time for the new episode. And I do believe it. I don't like that the BBC is doing this. And I, I pray to the Time Lords that this all leaves with Chibnall and gang, and then when Russell T comes back, we can have a little bit more of, hey, BBC, treat us like adults. You can give us dates. You don't have to make it so mysterious, because uh, if anything, you're just forcing more and more fans to go out there and take spoiler photos. So, you know, um, yeah. Anyways, but we did have that little brief five-second teaser um, that was just the doctor coming in and out, phasing in and out. So, I again, I think I go back to um, what is it called? The idea behind or the whole storyline behind this season seems to be mass uh, mystery, right? Um, and just to, sorry, to go back, it was actually the filming location was the gate in Cardiff. Um, I just actually saw it here on my computer as I'm reading through my notes and I couldn't see the location, but that was the location where uh, people actually witnessed both Jody and Mandip, but that was about it. I didn't see anyone saying that they saw Sasha Darling just yet. However, and I know I'm digressing everywhere, um, there was a box that it looked like maybe the uh, one of the props people was holding, which was a random white box that said the Master's Action Props. So, I mean, hello. That, that could also be another clue that the Doctor is going to be facing uh, her oldest nemesis, Actually, no, the Master's not oldest nemesis. I think the, the Daleks would be the oldest nemesis that we know of. Um, so my thing about this is, is the BBC really that dumb? I mean, is this gentleman really that, that dumb that he's going to stand? And he's almost looking at the camera 
too. So it's like you're carrying this package that says the master action props. Um, hello? Yes. I mean, come on. So even though they tried to cover as much up, it does seem that we may have um, maybe him come in. Now, another photo that looked closely at one of the photos, and I'm not sure if this was genuine or not, um, kind of looked towards one of the cars or, or the car that was kind of hiding whoever it was that was coming in. And it looked like they caught a glimpse of red light, um, high tops. So could it be David Tennant at coming back for the centenary? I'm not sure. I'm, I have the picture and I'm going to digest it as best as possible. I can't see anything from it exactly. So I can't say that it is um, high tops. Okay, or I guess that's what I call them, high tops. I don't know what everybody else calls them, but they just kind of look like plain old um, white shoes to me, and I think somebody might have Photoshopped them to make them look like they are, um, you know, high tops. I think they're just white shoes. So I wouldn't get my, my heart set on it being David Tennant coming back. But definitely if there's a box that says, you know, master props. I'm going to go on a, 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 on the ledge here and say I'm pretty sure that we are going to have some rendition of the master come back. So anyways, that is really what I have. I wish I could come back with a date and knowing exactly when we're coming back because I miss Doctor Who. Um, I'm just excited, though, that we do have Star Trek coming up this month as well. And it's Halloween. So it's not like we don't have stuff coming up. So, But that's what I have. And again, take a lot what I what I've shared with regards to Sasha Donna coming back with a grain of salt until I see some evidentiary photos or something. I mean, obviously there was someone that was snuck into the set. We do see a gentleman holding the box. It potentially, I know it's from far away. You can't read the words master and prop. So you know, we'll see. Anyways, exciting stuff. Let's see what else comes back. Uh, what comes up this month as we get closer and closer to a Doctor Who release date and the actual premiere of Doctor Who Series 13. All right, bye.